Right, I've got a boogie in a minute, but I thought um, I would show you a quick uh, lesson for some really useful rock chords, okay? So going back to our cage system for a moment, if we wanted to play an A shape, um, we could play our a, a here, okay, of course. Uh, we could play our A up here, or we could use this shape. This is the shape I want to concentrate on right now. Okay, so it's a D-shaped chord, so play a D chord, and just move it all the way up to the uh, ninth and 10th fret. So your first finger is on the G string of the ninth fret. Your middle finger is on the high E, same fret. Third finger is on the 10th fret of the G. Sorry, of the B, I do apologize, of the B. Okay. <coughs> that would be your, that, that's just an A shaped triad. What we're going to do is a little bit of refingering. Okay, we are going to um, play the B and the G with our middle and third finger. The reason I showed you it here is so that it's a reference point, you know what I'm talking about. It comes from the caged, it's a caged triad. There's your A, I'm going to refinger it and play our G and B with our Sec, sorry, second and third. And our index finger will bar on the seventh fret from the A note and it will bar all the way down. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to refinger this again. I'm going to omit the second finger entirely and put my third finger there and my pinky will go on that B string on the 10th fret. That's better, that's a better fingering, I think. Okay, so I'm barring on the seventh fret from the A note, which is the octave of this A. I'm barring all the way down. <coughs> I'm putting my third finger on the G string on the ninth fret. My pinky is on the 10th fret on the B. My middle finger is doing nothing, it's just keeping out of the way. Now that is a if you've got a bit of distortion on your amp, you've got yourself an A chord there. And then you can move that around. What's that last chord? Well, it's an A chord. If you know your A chord there, you can just add in your pinky finger on the high E and the B string on the fifth fret. It gives you an A chord. Why does it give you an A chord? Because these two notes are included in the bar shape of your A chord there. If you were to completely remove this bar and only play two notes, those two notes, those are the two notes I'm talking about. Play them with your pinky, play your normal A shape there, and there's your A. So you've got these really cool little rock chords. Just throw some distortion on your amp, give them a try. If you took this finger off, you just have a normal A chord. But to add in a little bit of colour, you add in a few higher notes. Okay, they're all major chords, they're really good for rock guitar playing. Just thought I'd show you that, because I've got to go out in a minute. Um, I've got to go and pick up the missus from work. So, um, anyway, peace, love, and harmony, respect. Respect, enough respect. Alright then folks, I'll catch you later.